Bob A. Dingleman here. It's hump day. I love it. Welcome to That Is What I Am Talking About. Don't touch that dial. There's more to come here on That Is What I Am Talking About. You are listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. And again, I am Bob A. Dingleman, otherwise known as I Am Bad. <laughs> this is Bob A. Dingleman. Catch me weekly on WDROPDE 4445 on your internet drive. The show is called That Is What I Am Talking About, and I am Bob A. Dingleman. Also, I am bad. <laughs> Uh, Shaniqua, uh, good day. Hi, um, my, my mom called me Shaniqua, but my friends call me Shan, so just call me the Prophetess Shan. Alright, the Prophetess Shan. Shan, what, what do you have to share with us today? Well, I'd just like to share with everyone that, you know, you know, it's going to be, you know, hot this summer, and, uh, you know, it's going to be cold in December and January, and, you know, it's going to be rain in, in Florida, and, you know, and in March and April and May and June and, and uh, you know, it's just going to be, you know, just think about all of that and, you know, it's, it, you know, it's going to be hot. Uh, uh, Shaniqua, is that, uh, is that all that you have to share with us in order to get everyone ready? Yeah, you know, gas is going to go up this summer and so, you know, you better get yourself a car like, you know, like a little bitty car, you know, it's good on gas because gas is going to go up, you know, it's going to go up. Oh, and it's gonna, you know, gas, and it's gonna be hot, hot gas, and, and gas, and hot, hot and gas. All right, everyone must govern themselves accordingly, according to the prophetess Shan. It's going to be hot out there, and uh, gas is going to be high. Thank you. Next caller on the air. What up, dog? This Atlanta Joe. What up, dog? This Atlanta Joe up on this show. I got on here, boy. Yeah, boy. This Atlanta Joe up in here, dog. Yeah, uh, I had called you here because you had uh, said you were uh, talking about uh, uh, marriage and stuff. And I just want to talk about my baby mama and everything. You know what I'm saying? We ain't married, but you know what I'm saying? We used to be married. You, know, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You're like, we live together and stuff like that. You know, like, so we like, you know, like almost married or something. So I'm saying, dog. Yes, uh, Atlanta Joe, I believe you said. And, and you want to discuss uh, common law marriage, I take it, uh, between you and your and your and the mother of your child. Yeah, dog. Yes, yes, yes. My baby, mama, and everything, dog. You know, dog. You know, you know. Feel, uh, you know, saying, you know, she, she been with me, you know, ride or die from the day one. You know what I'm saying, dog. You know what I'm saying. You know, she, you know, she got three kids and everything, but you know, all them kids ain't mine. Yes, but uh, you've accepted them as yours. Is that is there an issue there? Is, is that the reason that you brought it up? Yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying, though. You know, one of them, babies, you know, yeah, my cousin, baby. You know, he locked up and everything, dog. You know what I'm saying, though? But I know it's his and everything. But, but uh, she tried to talk about it's mine. I know it ain't nothing mine. You know, but that's cool because, you know what I'm saying? We keep it all in the family, dog. We keep it real. We keep it 100, dog. Cause, uh, dog, one time, uh, I, uh, I, had, I was locked up, dog. And then my cousin, you know, had moved in my house right there. Watch out, my baby mama look at my children and everything. You know, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? I know they had messed around because, you know, he had told me, uh, he showed me these pictures and everything. You know, you know what I'm saying? No, he keep it real, though. He keep it real, though. I said, feel me? I said, dog, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my baby mama, what you doing, dog? He said, oh, man, you lay out smoking that weed and everything, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, you know. So, uh, I'm uh, to understand that you don't have an issue uh, with your cousin. And you're the mother of your child. Nah, no, I'm saying, no, no, you know, we keep it in the family and everything, you know what I'm saying? We cool. You know what I'm saying? Cause he had looked out for me, you know what I'm saying? And I looked out for him and everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know what I'm saying? I got a baby from his baby mama, too. You have a child from his, uh, the mother of his child, uh, so he has multiple children, and you have. I'm I'm lost. No, I, I'm saying no doubt. You know what I'm saying? You know, cause uh, when I got out, dog, and I got out and everything, I mean, I had learned things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I found out. You know, cause the baby got green eye. My my cousin got green eye. I ain't got no green eye. You know what I'm saying? I know they know my baby dog. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, hit baby mama. I went over high and I hit her. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was good too, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, but uh, you know what I'm saying? No, that uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, uh, Atlanta Joe, you are uh, confusing me a bit. So. What are your comments about marriage? What do you feel about the institution of marriage? I say no doubt, you know. All them hoes. No, don't marry no. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Atlanta Joe, we don't we don't want to utilize the terminology 
that you used to discuss women that is not nice. And uh, so let's uh, refrain from that type of language and uh, but continue with your point. I'm saying though, now feel me. I'm saying feel me. Uh, you know, I said that's how I talk to you. Know I'm saying I don't, I don't know where to talk. To. Said, that's, all, that's what I be talking about, you know. But uh, uh, okay though. You see, uh, all right. Now you know, feel me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, don't get married. Nah, nah, nah. Uh huh. You are against marriage, I take it, from your experiences in the the like. Yeah, now, yeah, I, I, I'm against that marriage. You know what I'm saying? No, no, you stay with them, live with them, everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, take care of bills, everything. You know, food stamp money, all that, that good stuff right there. You know, section eight, and all that, that. But I ain't, don't be getting no married with them, man. You crazy? All them hoes. Um, again, Mr. Atlanta Joe, we don't like that, to use the term ho- that term uh, on this program. I do realize that it is a part of the language of certain neighborhoods and uh, people and rappers but we don't want to use that on this program we will use other terminology to describe people respect, respect dog respect dog I feel, I feel you dog you know what I'm saying no, this show show you know what I'm saying you straight me I, 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 I appreciate that dog you know what I'm saying I ain't, I ain't got no issue with that dog. you know what I'm saying I keep it real I keep it, I keep it 100 dog what I'm saying though to my baby mama you know what I'm saying I love her you know what I'm saying just cause I, just cause I got four kids from, from five different women don't mean I don't love my baby mama you know what I'm saying feel me, feel me dog you know what I'm saying so that don't get married that's all I'm saying don't be married don't be married <laughs> And with that, we have to uh, <laughs> we have to let Atlanta Joe go. Uh, thank you for calling Atlanta Joe. Please call again. Please call again. This is the Bob Dingleman Show, otherwise known as That Is What I Am Talking About. We'll be back in a moment. Well, that was quite an interesting... Uh, Kind of uh, back and forth, but such is life. All right, we got another caller on the line. Oh, Lolo, Lolo, how's it going, Lolo? What's going on with you? Dear Lolo, my mama know I call here. I, I call here. My mama know how. My mama know I call here. Lolo is a young man uh, who works at a local grocer's establishment in town, and he's very respectful and responsible. Lolo's a very nice young man, and uh, Lolo's 21 years old, so he is legal. And so, what do you what do you have to say, Lolo? Are you getting married? Ma, no, 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 I'm not getting no married. My my mama know I call here. I call here. I just want to talk to everybody and everything. I I like your show. I like your show. Is that good? Is that, uh, 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 my mama know I call. Uh, here. Lolo, what? Uh, 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 why aren't you at work? How is everything going? Uh, everything good. Everything good. Huh? I just like your show. I, I'm, I'm 21. My mom, my mom know I, my mom know I call here. I not, I not married. I not gonna get no married. I not, I not like, I don't want, no. I not, I don't get no married. No, I know. Lolo, I calm down, calm down, Lolo. I was speaking to your manager the other day, and I, he said some good things about you. He yeah, said some yeah, good things about manager. you. Yeah, you tell me. Yes, I, I don't take that candy. I don't, I don't, I don't take that. I don't take that candy. You tell me. I don't, I don't take that candy. I not, I not take it. I not take that candy. You tell me. Oh, no, no, please. Police? You, you call, you tell police? You call police on me? You tell, you call police? You tell me. I, I don't take that. I don't take that candy. Not, not that one. That one me. I don't take that candy. Why, why you tell police? And why, why, why Lola, you tell manager? Listen, Lolo, calm down. I want you to listen to what I'm saying to you. No. No, no, no. You tell police. You tell manager. Put the police. Put the police. And put the manager. Put, put the police. Put the manager. Put, put both of them. My, my mom know I call here. Lolo, call back when you're, when you're calm. Calm down, Lolo. Calm down. Everything will be all right. All right. We're talking about marriage. On the Bob A. Dingleman, that is what I am talking about show. Next on the line, we have Tony. Tony, you're on the air. This is Tony. Hello, Mr. Dangleman. How are you? I'm fine, Tony. How are you? What do you have to share with us about the institution of marriage? Well, uh, this is Tony, and I just, uh, I want to say, uh, I want to talk about uh, my wife. We'll just call her Miggy. And uh, me and Miggy been trying. To have a baby, but we can't seem to conceive. And uh, I have a secret, but I don't know how to tell Mickey 
what the issue is. Uh, Tony, uh, what, 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 did, what, what, what would you like to share with us uh, about you and, and, and Miggy? Yeah, uh, Miggy thinks that I'm a man. But uh, after, what, uh, I had a little operation and um, uh, I'm actually not a man. And so my parts don't necessarily work for having a child. I, I told her that I went to the doctor and, and that I, uh, you know, they said everything was all right, but it's not true. It's not true. And I, I don't know how to break it to her because she just wants a baby so bad. She's 52 and never had a child, and she just wants a baby so bad, and I just don't know how to tell her that uh, that might not be going to happen. Aha, uh-huh, Tony and Miggy. I think that uh, the best way, Tony, in a married life is just to be honest with your partner and tell your partner the truth, because the truth will set you free, and uh, it will... It'll make you feel much better. It'll make you feel much better to get it off of your chest. Let let Miggy know. And I think that everything is going to be all right. You know what, Bob? I think you're right. I think I'm going to call Miggy and tell her. I think she's going to be all right with it. I do. And I'm going to call you back and tell you. And let you know. And both of us going to call you back on the phone. And everything's going to be all right. We're going to have a nice little talk on your show. And I think uh, you help me out. You know what? You, you didn't know Dr. Phil. Forget Dr. Phil. You, Dr. Bob. That's what we're going to call you, Dr. Bob. We're going to call you back, Dr. Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. And uh, please call us back. Please definitely call us back with Miggy. We think that will be a wonderful, explosive conversation. <laughs> what do you think about that, Noah? I think the caller's wrong about that. Caller is wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. We'll be back in a moment. For the best in talk radio and entertainment, tune in to That Is What I Am Talking About on WDROPDE4445 on your internet drive. Also, The Jimmy Williams Show. I am Bob Ningleman here, the host. And once again, I am bad. (laughs) Bob A. Dingleman here. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. This is Bob Dingleman, and you are listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. All right, all right. You're listening to That's What I Am Talking About. And I am Bob A. Dingleman, and as always, I am bad. (laughs) On the line with us is LaQuisha. LaQuisha, what do you have to say about the institution of marriage? My name is LaQuisha. But my friends call me Quisha, so just just call me Quisha. Don't call me LaQuisha, because that's too long. Just call me Quisha. All right, uh, Quisha, what is that popping noise that I hear when you speak? What oh, popping noise? What you talking about? Ain't nobody got no popping noise around here. What you talking about? Anyway, I heard you were talking about marriage and everything. And I just want to talk about men. Men, all men are dogs. I just want you to know that. So if they call you talking all this nonsense, they all is dogs. D O G G Y S Q. Dog, Snoop, Doggy, Doggies. Ah, uh, nah. so you've had bad relationships, I take it, LaQuisha. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Quisha. You've had bad relationships, so you have been burned by men. That's, uh, that's burn? unfortunate. Burn? Ain't nobody been no burn? Who? Uh, don't say that one no burn. He said that was just, I just need a little shot. That's all. Ain't nobody, no burn. What you talking about? Burn? Uh, what you talking about? Ain't no, uh, that wasn't even me. That was my sister. That wasn't even uh, me. I ain't never had that. Down. I'm not sure that you understand. I, I mean that you have had bad experiences, so they've left you with scars from dealing with emotional scars? issues. Ain't got no scars? That, that was my cousin. That wasn't even me. I didn't even do that. He lying on me. Who told you that? Mike? Mike be lying on people all the time. He be telling people I didn't Quisha, even do that. That wasn't even me. Calm down. I'm saying that you have had bad experiences, and therefore... You have this opinion of marriage. Oh, <laughs> you're so crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, because my mama had been married one time, and then, you know, and, but here was my daddy. 
It used to always be following me around the house every time and stuff. I always telling me to pick up stuff and all the time. And every time I come out the bathroom, he just used to be sitting there and the cops looking. So yeah, I don't. Oh, 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 oh. Quisha, calm down, calm down. Stick, stick, stick to the story here. Tell, tell me more about your opinions about marriage. Yeah, one time, and then my baby daddy, you know, he told me he wanted to get married, and he gonna buy me this ring and stuff. He brought me this ring. Next thing you know, he in court. He caught to jail. He done robbed somebody's house. Gave me that ring. You know what I'm saying? Then they gonna try to send me. Now, I stole the ring. They gonna bring me to court too. I said, here, take this ring. I don't care about this ring. Shoo. Yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to jail for nobody. Nobody. Not for Mike. You know, what time my boo Mike? Mike. Mike. I miss you, Mike. Mike, come on, Mike. I miss you. Uh, okay. <clears throat> So, are there any other words that you have about marriage or any parting words that you'd like to share with our guests about your opinion of the institution of marriage? I would like to say that all women, if you're going to get married to a man, just make sure, make sure, girl, girl, you go to the doctor first with him and make sure you see what the doctor do to him and make sure that you get checked first with him, girl, girl. Girl, <laughs> girl, girl, and make sure he ain't got, but he only got less than two baby moms, two or less. No, no more than two baby moms, because if he got more than two baby moms, oh, girl, girl, girl. So, two baby moms or less, go to the doctor with him and everything, and make sure, girl, that he is not on probation, because if he's on probation, you can't do nothing, girl, girl. Shoot. And make sure that when you get married and you go to work and he stay home, that at least he turn the AC off so the light bill don't go all the way up. Girl and cable. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Girl. So that's my advice to all the girls out there if you're going to get married. But I just told you that all of them is dogs. Thank you, Quisha, for those wonderful words of, uh, of advice to the ladies out there about getting hitched so we've got several perspectives on marriage from many people in the world and so i think that uh it's good to hear everyone's opinion and what they feel and how they feel and why they feel the way that they feel and uh you know everyone's opinion that's what makes the world go round uh, this is bob a dingleman you're listening to that is what i am talking about the fictional subject matter of this show is based on real life events the characters are owned and created by golden ears entertainment in partnership with the jimmy williams show all rights reserved Got another caller on the air. Gus, Gus, you're on the line. What do you say, Gus? Uh, hello, Mr. Bangleman. Uh, my name's Gus. I'm from Kentucky. And I'd just like to say that I, I think the blacks has taken over everything in the United States of America, and that's what's wrong with us right now. Uh, uh Gus, uh, wh- what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh, this, the topic of today is uh, the institution of marriage. So what do you have to say about the institution of marriage? I think that if, if blacks would wouldn't buy, if, if, you know we don't allow the blacks to take over everything and they, and if they were in in charge of everything then uh you know everything that's going wrong in the country today wouldn't be going wrong today because you know we let these black come in here and uh, they let they elected that old old Bobby in there and and everything done changed ever since that man came president. Uh, you are talking about the president of the United States. You are not. A fan of the president, I see, and did you blame black people for electing him? Uh, well, what does this have to do with marriage? I, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, I think that uh, if they if black folks, if black and African African Americans did not elect this man in office, and uh, and uh, everything that's going wrong everywhere in the world, it's it's his fault. It's his fault, and so it's his fault because uh, the black people voted the man, and then I mean it's 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 cause of that. And everything well, because. Like there are more white people in America than black people, so um, by extension, the black vote could not have alone 
won him the presidency, so I, I may disagree with you on that. Yeah, but uh, if the black people didn't vote for him, man, then uh, we wouldn't have, he, in first time, in McCain, you know, he, that's a real American, yeah, you know, uh, uh, war hero and everything, and uh, that's a real American, uh, red-blooded American, you know, not this old man from in, from Kenya and mom and daddy, and don't, nobody know nothing about him and everything, talking about marriage, you know, uh, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so black people just easily let that's black. Black people is like children. Yeah. Little children, they just walk around and they find somebody tell them they just do. Bam, just children, just do it. Bam, black people. And that's what's wrong with America. We need some red blooded American leadership in the country right now. And then the marriage and it would go right. You know, in the, the, everybody won't get married and, and the gays want to get married. Next to the cows and the chickens. Next thing you know, the, the kids going to get married. Everybody just going to get married. Well, well, Gus, uh, calm down, calm down. So. Again, you blame the president for everything that's going wrong. Interesting, interesting. All right, Gus. So uh, uh, what can be done to make things right, in your opinion? He's going to be the president for several more years now. So what can be done to make things right, in your opinion? Well, I think, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, it's just everybody needs to just rise up, just rise up. And, and then and black people just listen and stop, you know, being silly all the time and then just rise up. And then everybody, everything will be all right and everything and marriage and, and food stamps, everything going to be all right in America. And red-blooded Americans get back in charge. But the black people are always just doing things wrong. You know, just follow around and don't don't listen. Just black folks. I always want something for free. Uh, I, I uh, uh, black people, well, everything, you know, free. There's food, food, food stamps, and they just want to go work. They don't want to go to work uh, like everybody else. Just want to sit around and some, have somebody give them something. Yes, that's why they got the president in there right now. Just have somebody give him something. Here you go, free stuff right here. Uh, I, 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 you know, I, I don't have nothing against black people. Yeah, so, because, I, you know, I, I know black people. I, I've been around black people. You know, I seen a black girl one time, you know. Yeah, a nice-looking black girl, you know. One time we was walking. And she used to work for me, and one time, you know, she walked, and she'd been over and everything, and bam, uh, wow, woo, look right there. And, uh, you know, so I, I, I got a couple black kids, you know. Uh, uh, so what? I'm not embarrassed about that. Yeah, you know, yeah, me and that young lady, you know, we you know, we talked about some things, had a couple of relations and everything, got some, got some black kids. And uh, is your show national? I don't want my mama to know about this. Uh, Gus, yes, this is a national show. Uh, but if your name is not Gus, or if your mother does not listen, then you don't have to worry. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just telling the truth. Just let you know, I, I don't have nothing against black, black folk, because I, cause I done messed with black women before. And so, you know, I go with her to her family house and everything, and her, her cousins always come out. Oh, can you let me hold this? Give me some money. And I drive them to the store. Give me some cigarettes. Give me this. Give me that. Just want something for free. You know, don't want to do nothing. Just want to listen. Don't want to listen. Just want to do stuff for free. And uh, I just don't have time for that. I just don't have time for that. I don't like that. You know, go around there and uh, see my kids and everything. And, uh, uh, you know, they they don't want to act right. You know, she wants just money every time. She say, I got your two kids. You know, you need to give me some money. Just want something for free. Well, Gus, uh, you are the father of the children. So, you child support is something that uh, every responsible adult should do to better their children. I don't have no problem playing child support. I'm just talking about just every time you just want money, 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 money. And every time I, I say, I don't want to give you no, no damn money. Every time I just gave you some money yesterday, and then every, every time I turn around, you got your hair and nails done, and every time you want some money, 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 money. I'm not giving her any more money. I'm just tired of it. You know, then she just bent over one time, and then, oh, Lord. Whew. But anyway, but, but if it, see, so that's what I'm talking about right there. Black folks, everything, that's, you know, that's no respect. And the black folks just don't have no respect for nobody. Uh, what are you talking about now, Gus? I, I, I was driving down the street one day, listening to a song, and this boy driving down the street in his car, just boom, 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 just loud, loud cussing and, and bad words and everything. And he said, uh, uh, don't blame him, just watch me. Nigga, 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 nigga. Oh, uh, Gus. Uh. <laughs> Gus, we don't use that type of language on this show. We try not to disparage anyone, and so we don't want you to say that. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to tell you what the, the guy said in, in the song, and in, in, in playing in the song in the car and everything, and, and, and you know, it just hurt. Uh, don't blame Jess Watts. Don't blame Jess Watts. Nigger, 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 and, and I'm just saying, you're just playing what, everything. So if anything, you can say, I want to say nigger too sometimes. Nigger, 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 nigger. Gus. We like you to call and give us your opinions, but we can't have you using that word on the air. It's just not appropriate. 
I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bob. Let me strike man. I, I just I'm just getting, getting excited and see if the blacks would get in line and everything would be all right in America. Everything would be all right in America. I I got to think about my kids and growing up and everything and and being good, you know, and everything. And so, uh, you know. So what about you and uh, Nene? Uh, Nene, are are you going to get married? Are you married? Uh, what what is the status? Now, I don't think I'm going to marry Nana, you know, I don't know, because, you know, you know, mama might not like that, and, uh, I, I, you know, so, but I take care of my kids, you know, uh, little, little Becky and Quantificus Jr. Uh, Gus, you said that your children's names are Becky and, and, you said, uh, Becky and Quantificus Jr., yeah, that's right. Becky and Quantificus Jr. Those are my two kids. Uh, uh is uh is your name uh Quantificus and Gus is short for that? No, no, no. That's just the name Nene, Nene came up with. She's just like I, I will name I will name him Quantificus Jr. I just like that name and, and so I'm just gonna name him that and so that's fine. Got little Becky, got little Quantificus. Uh Gus tell me, what is uh well what does what does Becky look like? What do your children look like? Well, my little Becky, little angel, little perfect little angel, you know. Let me say who she looked like. You know who she looked like? She looked like that girl that played, played piano, uh, uh, Alicia Keys. That's, that's who, that's who Becky looked like. She looked like little Alicia Keys. We're going to buy her a piano and see if she can play and sing like little Alicia Keys. And we're going to call her little Lisa, you know. <laughs> Interesting, Gus. And, and what does uh, uh, Nene look like? Well, you know, Nene, she looked like uh, you know what? Oh, there! I was telling her who was watching TV. I said, you know, you know, you look like that that Nicki Minaj girl. You know, you got same old same old cheekbones and you know, that that old nice and caramel kind of the smooth caramel kind of skin and and uh and uh but uh but Nicki Minaj, you know, her booty, you know, I don't, I don't think it's real. I don't think it's real. But Nene, whoo, she got a real booty. That booty is just big and round and just as plump and the wide hips and oh lord. But anyway. So yeah, she kind of looked like that, like that Nicki Minaj. Uh huh. And and what does uh, Quantificus Junior look like? Well, Quantificus Junior, you know, he kind of looked like uh, uh, Wesley Snipes. Uh, Gus. Well, then let me ask you, Gus, if if I may, Gus, what do you look like? You know what? I I, I believe I kind of look like Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I look like I look like Brad Pitt. Probably, probably look a little better than Brad Pitt. Yeah, you know, these are my teeth right here. So, you know, I don't know about his teeth and everything. These are my teeth. I look like Brad Pitt. Why are you asking me all these questions about what everybody look like? What are you trying to say? Well, Quantificus is pretty dark compared to everybody else. Are you trying to say that Quantificus Jr. ain't my son? Quantificus Jr. is my son. That is my son. <laughs>